Due to the numerous moving parts on our TFT automatic fog nozzle, mineral buildup, corrosion, and grit can impact the ability for the nozzle to work as intended. Now, there is no set maintenance schedule outlined by TFT. However, it is advisable to lubricate the nozzle at least once a year and any time operation of the working components become difficult. These maintenance instructions are only intended to be used on the TFT automatic nozzle. This includes our inch and three quarter handline nozzles, the dual pressure fog nozzle on the Blitzfire monitor, and the max force fog nozzle equipped on our deck guns and aerial apparatus. The only lubricant to be used on any TFT nozzle is the Brake Free CLP. Never use WD-40, PB Blaster, or any lubricant that is designed to penetrate. These penetrants will work their way into the O-rings and over time cause them to swell. To properly perform these maintenance procedures, you will need the Brake Free CLP lubricant, two vinyl check sticks for moving the baffle of the nozzle. Wooden or plastic wedges can also be used, however, Never use metal items such as screwdrivers or spanner wrenches since they can damage the components of the nozzle. You will also need a rag to wipe up any overspray, and finally, the nozzle you intend to maintain. With the nozzle rotated all the way to straight stream, begin by applying lubricant around the inside diameter of the shaper. Fully rotate the nozzle back and forth several times to work the lubricant down into the components. Next, turn the nozzle all the way to the flush position. This extends the baffle far enough to get the check sticks under the edge of the baffle to move the internal spring mechanism. Spray a generous amount of lubricant down the inside of the baffle shaft as well as around the outside diameter of the nozzle. This does two things. It lubricates the slide valve and it also lubricates the baffle and the control unit. Move the bale back and forth a few times to work the lubricant into the valve. Then, using your check sticks or wedges, work the baffle up and down a few times to get the lubricant into the moving components. With the nozzle back in the straight stream pattern, apply a few small squirts of lubricant behind the shaper and again, rotate it back and forth working the lubricant in. Moving back along the nozzle, Apply a couple small squirts on top of the detent balls and springs, as well as a small amount on the valve discs on the bottom of the nozzle where the bale handle attaches to the nozzle body. Work the bale back and forth to help work the lubrication in. Now we move to the back of the nozzle. First, with the bale fully open, apply lubricant to the back of the slide valve and move the bale back and forth. Finally, apply a small amount of lubricant to the back side of the coupling where it meets the valve body. Even when well lubricated, this coupling should still require some effort to turn. This is sealed by an O-ring so that under pressure, the nozzle can still rotate on the hose line. So in most cases, this will not be a free swivel. Maintenance for master stream fog nozzles is performed in the same way with the exception of operating the bale. If maintenance has not been performed on a master stream fog nozzle for some time, you may find the initial lubrication difficult to perform. One more consideration with the fog nozzle tip on the Blitzfire pertains to the dual pressure capability. Moving the nozzle to low pressure opens the two small holes on the control unit that allows you to apply lubrication down inside the nozzle. Keeping the nozzle in low pressure mode when using your check sticks to work the baffle up and down will also make this process easier. Once you're finished lubricating the nozzle, wipe everything down to remove any excess lubricant on the nozzle.